وإذا ذكر الله وحده اشمأزت قلوب الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة وإذا ذكر الذين من دونه إذا هم يستبشرون which means, and when God alone is mentioned, the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter get disgusted, but when others are mentioned beside him, they rejoice. The most famous Muslim commentary on the Qur'an, Tafsir ibn Kathir, confirms this verse is about idolaters, saying, quote, Then Allah condemns the idolaters further, and when Allah alone is mentioned means, when it is said there is no God except Allah alone. Now, does the Muslim testimony of faith mention and include any other name beside the name of their God? Or are the Muslims satisfied with proclaiming their God alone? Although it's not mentioned in any single verse of the Qur'an, the Muslim testimony of faith or shahada is La ilaha illallah wa Muhammadur Rasulullah Which means, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger. So Mr. Don't Convert to Islam said that Muslims are idolaters because they include Muhammad with Allah, there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. In Quran idolaters are the one who include other things with God. But you should understand the reason why Muhammad is with Allah, Muhammad isn't actually included with Allah, since Allah's favorite person is Muhammad, and Muhammad is the founder of Islam, Muhammad should be added to the Shahada since Muhammad is the founder of Islam. And Allah is the Lord, but the Quran says idolaters are the one who include other people with God, idolaters make other things equal to God, that's how they add other things to God, that's what the Quran says, Muslims aren't idolaters since they doesn't make Muhammad equal to God, so Muslims shouldn't be considered as idolaters since they doesn't make Muhammad equal to Allah, if they make Muhammad equal to God, Muslims are idolaters, but they didn't make Muhammad equal to God, so Muslims aren't idolaters. In the other hand Christians are idolaters since they make Jesus equal to God.